He's watchful. He's vigilant. He's a hunter by nature. He's got the most highly trained senses. And he never stops sniffing around. He does not accept corporate payoffs, and he is not interested in making friends and allies. He's on every corporate hit list and every government watch list. The Bloodhound Review. Hi. Welcome to the Bloodhound Review. I am non-Dr. Smith. And today we're going to be taking a look at... Um, 365's Herbal Mint Conditioner. Now you probably think you don't have to take a look at it because it says what it is right here, Herbal Mint Conditioner. And if that's not enough, there's a picture of a mint plant on the front. So that's all you need. I mean, what am I going to do? Is, is It's a good question. You know, but we're going to talk about that. Um, and for those of you who don't have time to watch the whole video and just want to get the answer quick, can I use this product my, re my response is no. I'm giving this one two big, dirty, bloody thumbs down. So, 365, for those of you who don't know, is a Whole Foods brand. Yeah, the conscientious people. They know not to put chemicals in their shampoos and conditioners. That's why they make their products out of herbs and mints. And that's why they won the Beauty with a Conscience Award. This is premium body care here, folks, from Whole Foods Market. Now that we're done with the bullshit, let's look at the back. Let's see what's in the actual product that's not in the picture. They are not required by law to show all of the ingredients in the product in the picture. So we'll just take a look at the, the back here. I'm going to take a glove off to to look at the ingredient breakdown, but I'm going to be careful not to touch the bottle with the free hand. Keep an eye on me. First ingredient is agua, water. Yeah. First ingredient, by the way, in my shampoo is aloe vera. Now, water is pretty common, though. Then we get right into it with the first main ingredient outside of water, behentramonium chloride. As you can see, they jump right up into the ground up herbs and mints. Then we have glycerol stearate, gluconolactone, and just glossing over here, sodium benzoate. You've probably seen this. It's in a lot of products, food, beauty, everything. And it's usually very the very last ingredient. It's supposed to be used in a tiny tiny dose as a preservative. But here, they're putting it right at the top as one of the main ingredients, a preservative, sodium benzoate. Now, everything I've read on this ingredient is not pretty, but um, there, it gets worse. <laughs> World Health Organization notes that combined with vitamin C, which you often see as ascorbic acid, sodium benzoate forms benzene, a known carcinogen according to the World Health and uh, Centers for Disease Control. But don't worry, you're not going to run into vitamin C in your everyday walk of life. Benzene is actually deadly in high doses. PubMed.gov, case number 10801054. Do your homework. Animal studies show moderate doses cause endocrine disruption, toxic to the liver, likely even worse in soft drinks. I'm getting this info from Stephanie Greenwood of Chemical of the Day, but she is citing government studies published in PubMed.gov, such as the one referenced. But I'm glad she's there because you need a degree in astrophysics to search for something on PubMed. I call it the hidden database of everything. It's nice to have her easy links to the database to help an artist make videos because it is, it is very difficult to uh, search around there. But it's all there. It's all there if you have the time. By the way, in case you're worried, the EPA is there to make sure the chemical doesn't kill you in one dose. <laughs> if it kills you in two doses, it's acceptable levels of normalcy. Because nobody ever uses two doses. You use one dose and you get right on with your life. <sighs> Whole Foods, you got a nice little scam going. Stock's doing well too, I see. I'm jealous. 
And we have another alcoholic preservative known as phenethyl alcohol. Then we have glycerol caprolate. Doesn't look good, but nothing confirmed yet. Then we have polysorbate 60. Some concerns of organ system toxicity, according to the cosmetics database, ewg.org. Organ system toxicity. What are you going to do with your organs anyway? Grow up, right? Another alcohol. We got ceteral alcohol, glycerin, sodium citrate. This is a good one. All right. A Mary Poppins favorite here. One word. Sterile demonium hydroxypropyl lauryl glucosides. Chloride. Excuse me. I always leave out the chloride. Sterile demonium hydroxyl propyl lauryl glucosides chloride. Couldn't even Google it. Aloe barbadensis, that's aloe vera, uh, panthenol, tocopherol, vitamin E. Um, okay, acceptable. Chamomile flower. There's a couple of herbs in there. Um, polysorbate 20, they had to do it. They had to throw polysorbate 20 in. According to Stephanie Greenwood, chemical of the day, polysorbate starts out as a harmless sorbitol, but then it's treated with carcinogenic ethylene oxide. Carcinogenic, for those of you who don't know, means causes cancer. It's called polysorbate 20 because it's treated with 20 parts of ethylene oxide. She notes here that the cosmetics database often lets ingredients like this slip through the radar. They're not confirmed yet. Then we have some rosemary and peppermint oils and spearmint oils down at the bottom. Just kindly note that ingredients are listed from largest quantity to smallest quantity. So the herbs are there in minor dose at the end. The, the mint plant is, is a minor dose of... Oh, my God. The mint plant is a minor dose of that at the end. But there's a larger dose of the sodium benzoate preservatives and other potential non-confirmed carcinogens. Your daily shower never felt this good. Our herbal mint conditioner with aloe vera and vitamin B5 restores moisture and shine, while peppermint essential oil leaves a clean, refreshing scent. You know, it's interesting that they like to talk a lot about the ingredients they don't put a lot of in. You don't see them saying, our herbal mint conditioner with sodium benzoate and sterile glycerin glauconate restores moisture and shine. Now, they're talking about the couple ingredients that restore moisture and shine, but we don't know really. There hasn't really been a test to confirm that they do restore moisture and shine after being put in the same bucket as sterile ammonium hydroxyl lauryl glycerides chloride. We don't know if there's a, an effect where they go together. And it's, you know, kind of like the sodium benzoate and vitamin C make benzene. We don't know. Maybe the peppermint spearmint is all nullified by these chemicals. There hasn't been an adequate testing yet. We need to increase taxes and increase the testing. But I have to say, I mean, it, it was thoughtful of them to footnote some plant essence in at the end. You wouldn't even see Suave doing that. You know, this is what makes Whole Foods who they are eat like an idealist, always the very healthy, pure-skinned mother with the cute little uh, sunbeam girl as her daughter. Look at the fair-skinned baby. Natural. She's out in a field of dandelions. These, these are really informed people. And by putting a photo of them, you identify with them and you say, hey, that's me. I'm healthy. I like my things natural. So let me go buy a Whole Foods brand bottle of chemicals. They got a nice little thing going, Whole Foods. They have the, uh, your right to know about GMO, yet they got GMO and everything. They want you to know that you do have a right. They're not going to help you get there. They want you to know that you should care, but they don't give a fuck. So what do we do with this? In the biohazard container it goes. If you can't fit it in your biohazard container at your home, Take it to your local Centers for Disease Control Disposal Center and have them destroy it with care.